Don't cast your pearls before swine? What exactly do you mean, Jesus? We'll talk about that today on Bible Time. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me for Bible Time at the Table. We are going to Matthew chapter 7, verse 6, and it says in the New International Version, Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under feet and turn and tear you to pieces. To really understand this passage, we need to go back to the beginning of chapter 7, when Jesus is speaking about judging others. He says, do not judge or you too will be judged. For the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And the measure you use, it'll be measured to you. And then he goes on to say, do not go to your brother and say, let me take the speck out of your eye. But first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you can help your brother. And from there, he immediately jumps into chapter or verse 6 when he talks about throwing your pearls before swine and giving to dogs what is holy, what is sacred. What he's trying to say there is it's all about you. And when we become greater in God and when we feel God's presence and when we know God's calling in our lives, if we are not careful to remember who's in charge and who gave us this ability to do what we're doing, we can get ourselves into a lot of harm. So don't go around telling others about their problems. God is not in the business of spelling out people's problems to one another through someone else. A prophet will sometimes call out someone's actions. And if it is done, it is done with love and mercy. It's not done with judgment. Judgment belongs to Jesus Christ as we spoke about on Bible time on a different episode. So that's the first thing to remember. This is about judging and discerning. So at the same time, we don't want to just throw out what God is giving us in front of anyone. For example, God does not want us going out on the street corner and saying, Jesus is coming soon. Sure, some people will listen, but most people will not, and they will tear you apart and call you a fool for standing on the street corner and saying, Jesus is coming. And it's not the people who believe this that are going to call you that. It's the people who are unbelievers, the swine, the dogs. So God is saying, don't take what is holy and give it to people who are unholy. Let God deal with them. But at the same time, give your message out in a non-judging, non-threatening way. You don't want to tell someone, you're going to go to hell if you don't believe what I say. That doesn't work with people. Judgment belongs to the Lord, not to us. We are given gifts to some were called apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers. And to others, gifts of the Spirit are given according to the Spirit. The gifts of discernment, the gifts of hospitality, the gift of healing, the gift of service, the gift of leadership, the gift of administration, all given by the Holy Spirit for all of us. And we need to remember that it was him who gave and him who guides and him who builds up, not us. Lest we find ourselves in a situation where we start throwing our information out willy-nilly to people and they tear us apart. And God will allow it because God is not sending us out to be on our own but sending us out as we have submitted to him and surrendered to him, he will guide and lead us. And yes, I'm speaking to all of us because what has been prophesied in the book of Joel came to life in Acts chapter two on the day of Pentecost, but it is coming to life again in 2021. God is pouring out his spirit upon all people. And your young men will have visions and your old men will dream dreams and women too. And God is showing us his greatness through signs and wonders. It's coming, but we need to be careful not to hold it back and say, I'm afraid, but to give it by the leading of the Holy Spirit, not just throw it out there to anybody, but also don't hold it back. Because God is doing great things in 2021. The greatest awakening is happening. It is coming upon us. 
in a great and glorious way. But God will be glorified and the nations will know that he is God. We get to be a part of this. We get to do this. But we need to be careful and discerning in how and when in using wisdom before sending our message out. That's what this passage is all about. So I encourage you today to heed the calling of the Holy Spirit. What is he telling you to do? Is he telling you to teach? Is he speaking words to you and suddenly they are coming true? Maybe you have the gift of prophecy. Is he telling you to go from church to church and to help build them up and help them in many ways? Maybe he's calling you to be an apostle. Go to God. Find out what he's calling you to do. Make your calling and election sure. But don't hide it. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Great things are coming, and it's only just beginning. That's our Bible time for today, and thank you for joining. Before I go, I want to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also subscribe to the podcast if you're listening. We are on all the major podcast networks, so you can, be, you can find us, Bible Time at the Table. We're also on Twitter, at Bible underscore table, at Bible underscore table. Just look for the Bible Time logo on Twitter, and we post all of the broadcast, Bible Time broadcast, on that Twitter page. We're also on Instagram, at the Table Bible Time, on Facebook, facebook.com slash at the Table Phil. Find us any way you can, subscribe, like, share. Let's get the word out together so that God's glory can be seen throughout this entire world. Until next time, I'll see you then. Goodbye, and God bless.